Hi everyone, this is Leah. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am going to show what I got from Tory Burch and I was waiting for this specific item to be on sale. I fell in love the first time I saw this in the boutique store. It came about a few days ago. I just had time to do the unboxing today. And it is a big box. Came in a very big box, even though the item itself is not that big. So let's take a look. I already cut the box, so I don't have to do it in front of the video because the box is very big. So let's open this up. It came like this with the Tory Burst thank you note. So let's open this up. like this I can see that this probably a star deep display or maybe some somebody return it because uh, it looks like the plastic is already open but that's okay as long as the bag is fine I'm okay with it so the style number is 135642 and the color is neutral multi Okay, let's take a look. It's a big dust bag, as you can see. The dust bag, I love Toy Birds dust bag because it's personalized with metal tag in the drawstring. So I like their um, the dust bag. So here you go. So once again, I fell in love the first time I saw it in the store. And let's take a look. Let's read the name. It is Tory Burst McGraw Die Cut Drawstring Satchel. And what I fell in love is this die cut one the multiple colors of leather on the side. I love this arrangement on this bag. They come in multiple colors, but this is the only one with this design, with this little leather sewn together in black, uh, brown, and ivory. So let's take a look. Let's see, uh, before I start, um, the retail value is $798, so it's $800. And I got this, I, I believe it was $400 something. So it's, it's not bad at all. It's open big. There is magnetic closure. Uh, that you can, that you put together. Here it looks like once you close it. So the inside has a pocket on the front. It's very spacious. You can put your phone or even wallet over here because it's pretty spacious uh, compartment on the front. Uh, let me remove the covering here. The bag actually has a slip pocket. So for phone and for wallet for the front and everything else in the middle. Um, my recommendation, if you put anything in the middle, you should have wallet or compartment of some sort so you don't get lost in finding uh, your items inside because it's really open big and I typically not a big bag person but this one because it's unique I can use this you know if I go to somewhere 
where I need to bring a lot of stuff. So let me remove this. So this is the drawstring. And look at the detail. The stitching is very nice. There's a top handle and you can put it in the crook of your arm. Just like that. Or you can use it as either crossbody or shoulder bag. Here you go. The strap drop has one, two, three, four, five, five holes. And the latch is in the middle hole. The strap drop is 21 inches when it latches in the middle hole. And the handle drop is five and a half inches. Let's take a look here. It's pretty big bag. So once again, uh, I will use this when I probably go to maybe out of town. And let's see if it is a crossbody. Here is crossbody. And here is, if I use it in the crook of my arm. Yep, it's pretty big bag for me anyway. It is super, the leather is very nice. There is no suede on the outside whatsoever. Uh, this style also come with part, with part of it as a suede, but um, it doesn't have this uh, arrangement, the leather arrangement. The inside is either suede or microfiber. I'm not sure. It looks like microfiber to me, but it's very nice, you know, either way. I don't mind a microfiber, but uh, the pocket is made of leather. Okay. And the detail, I just love the detail. Look at that. And this actually, look, if you want, you can actually pull this down. It is actually, they are actually zipper and it makes your bag bigger. Very nice. Very nice. I didn't even know that until just now that I, that these are actually zipper with a zipper pull kind of tassel. So it looks like it's intended to be hidden because when I try to show it, it's kind of like this. <laughs> it looks weird. So it looks like the purpose is to be hidden and, you know, use it when you want a bigger space for your bag. And this actually connected by metal. It's not uh, stitches at all. It's, lead. it's metal, those small leather. And this is the bottom. There is no feet and that's fine with me because I love this style very much. I love the detail very much. So uh, I don't mind a, it's a little bit bigger and there's no fit. Oh, let me do the measurement really quick. So the bottom length is nine inches. And it is about nine and a half tall. And the width is at the bottom is six and a half inches. But once again, that's the bottom. The bottom is smaller than the top. So um, this bag actually big, even though the measurement is not that big because it was at the bottom. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to give like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.